All right, you guys, so this thing was bugging me all week with that dog start. All week it was bugging me and I'm bugging you guys to support Stand Up Magazine. Quick like, comment or even a subscription would be epically helpful. But yeah, dang it, man, this is, it, it didn't leave me alone. It's like, I gotta return that 1225. It was definitely too small. It felt like I'm pushing right through the water, basically. Like, I didn't even get a, a moment to really get afloat. So I'm returning with the 1850 and I haven't used this thing in so long. I mean, it's gargantuous. How can you go wrong with an 1850? You just jump on it and start pumping, right? Easy peasy. Yeah, not so fast, people. Not so fast. So even with the big 1850, it is not easy, guys. It is all in the foot placement. It is all in the technique. Where does your front foot go? And you evidently see when I place my front foot first and I'm pushing on that thing, boom, the nose straight sinks, the foil goes down. And it is so hard. I have no way of accelerating on a dock. I pretty much have to make this in one jump and prompt, 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 jump, prompt, pump, jump, pump, right from there and it is really really hard and it's also frustrating because you got to climb out of the water you got to go do it again so it's very time consuming i'm not giving up i'm trying i'm trying i'm going to try a few more times i did five tries now and hopefully hopefully i get one or like a little a little feeling of it so again it's so important where am i gonna put my feet and also something i didn't really pay attention to is how deep is the foil actually in the water and out of kind of like a little bit of uh, being scared i kind of put the foil i feel like too deep in the water and every time i kind of like buried it right away and i felt like i had the best success when the foil actually wasn't too deep in the water but again this is extremely time consuming and really not easy. I can definitely feel the difference with the 1850. It makes it a whole lot easier than with the 1225. I think with the 1225, I would never ever stand a chance. On this 1850, I have the feeling, I think eventually I will get it. If I could have actually a real dock and not a place where the water also comes up and down all the time, that would be really helpful and somewhere where i don't have to jump off a rock where i can actually like run with it in absolute flat water because here the water just comes up and down all the time so a few more tries will i gonna get it mm, i don't know I, I might surprise myself but i have the feeling it might not be today gotten almost go, go. lucky there almost and one thing I definitely learned, I gotta wait for the bump to come. The bump must come up, so I don't bury my foil in the water. That's very important. Second one, foot placement. And third one, well, if I would actually master it, then actually start to pump and get into that rhythm. And it's not easy, it's not easy, but I feel like I'm, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm almost there. I don't know if I have the patience to come down here and, and walk my, my gear down here and climb in and out of the water because it's definitely a novelty thing. But hey, if there's nothing else, there's not much wind and there's no waves. Dude, we're, we're gonna go do that, guys. We're gonna go do that. Thanks, thanks for uh, being part of this journey and we'll see you guys in the next video.